Hello guys, welcome back once again. Today we're going to do a little bit of a different thing because uh, nothing has changed in the two past weeks. We're using the same setup for Golem and Hydra and Charid as well, kind of. But yeah, for Charid we're using obvious still the Priester because Epsilon is so strong at Charid. Um, I wanna talk about the new um, patch. I think everyone knows this by now. Next week, chapter 4. So, a lot of stuff is coming. Um, we can awaken our main characters. I didn't look into it that much. I don't know pretty much about the skills and stuff. I only know that we get a new pattern to make our main characters better fitting for uh, as a K holder. If you want to know more about it, my opinion on it, let me know so I look more into it and do a video on that. What I want to talk about is, is this Ultimate Dragon Busters and a little bit about the uh, new world bosses, the buffed versions. I guess. So, these are only translations, so we cannot tell for sure if they are 100% correct or not. But, um, which dra Dragon Busters I'm looking forward to ultimate? Um, so, we are here at the Dark Souls, I guess. Which i going to ultimate 100% is Sasha. Because two Dark Souls at the same time on the battlefield is Earth and Ask as well. 30% uh, random damage. It's like uh, Ivante in the past. It's uh, pretty much a huge damage boost. But by now the numbers are even bigger and so the 30%, 33% be accurate is even bigger and a uh, decrease attack speed is something that's that will help us uh, to survive against the stronger versions of the world boss and a chariot we know decrease attack speed is something we need so that's pretty good for dragon busters I want to ultimate this one. 30% attack for the whole party. Pretty strong. Gaia inflict 100% damage over time with all the attacks. That's pretty nice. So it's like a pretty insane dot damage effect. And Eod more boss damage for world boss ob obviously pretty nice this one uh, l looks pretty nice it looks really good for hydra but we only have these int buffs everywhere and stuff like that which makes it pretty hard to support a uh, dex uh, k but it looks good on paper, but I don't think we have uh, the support for it because Sasha is so strong and her getting all the intelli intelligence buffs with Gaia here like this and stuff like that. Uh, it's gonna be pretty hard for him to compete there. This one is pretty nice as well, of course. We're gonna see. I'm not sure what we are using for Golem. So if I have the resources, I will do Epsilon as well for Sharid. And um, Pluto is actually really nice for the PvP content like Arena and Fortress and stuff. Decreased damage for the whole party and Oh, here is it. Increase 
STR, yeah, and increase stamina for the whole party and a uh, 10% 10, 10 damage reflect, which can stack up. That's really crazy. So from Dragon Busters, I will make Omega and Gaia and Diod on ultimates right away and think about Stigma, Epsilon, but Epsilon before Stigma. Because I can, if I need a Rook K for the world boss, I think we will, we're gonna use Tier. And Epsilon is obvious for Sharid. Here, I will ultimate for sure Ask and Sasha. And I think about Shiva. Thanatos and Tyr. I don't have Ragnarok and Pluto so I cannot make them. Well I could but I have uh, would have to make those first and I don't think I have all the resource resources for this. This is pretty nice. If he is in his death passive he only hits with critical but that's something that Uranus is doing all the time with his ultimate passive. So oh. this one is actually uh, here is a, the buff, buffed version of it. We don't know which version we are getting, and I don't know what was the version before. So I'm sorry I can't uh, tell you. And this is something what looks. Um, pretty nice because this one is again something what uh, would be nice for Sharid and for the world bosses in general to make us survive if they are going to be that strong because ultimate uh, K is gonna be a huge boost for us as well yeah and uh, Shiva attack buff and Stamina buff for the whole party is pretty nice at arena and fortress and whatnot. I don't think we're going to use her uh, at any world boss. Yeah. That's, I guess, pretty much it. I don't know how strong they are going to be, but I think we are still using Teal without K for sure. I'm not sure about Bell. But I think we are using her as well without key because the ultimate key is going to be that strong to make us survive and uh, the allies without the key. But we're going to, to see. I'm pretty excited for the world bosses because it's a change in what we are at the moment. We're using the same setup for pretty much everything. Uh, pretty yeah every world boss Sherrod has a little change but it's not much we're using the same weapon effects well for Sherrod we have a change there but yeah that's uh, something I'm looking forward to and it's going to be fun as well because we have to try out what what we're going to use and stuff yeah and if you want to know more about this let me know, I try to look more into it then and uh, tell you my opinion on it. That was it for now. I hope you uh, it could help you a bit. Thank you for watching.